channel. This is Anna. We are going to make a cauliflower jambalaya today. Instead of using rice, I'm going to use a shredded cauliflower. Okay? So these are the ingredients that we have right here. I have the garlic, onion, and this is our Creole seasoning. I have the chicken, red pepper, green pepper, tomatoes, and if you notice this guys right here, so I have a baby scallop instead of using shrimp, which is, you know, you can use any protein that you like. So I figured, you know, I'll try scallop for this time. And then I have the start of course, the start of the recipe is our cauliflower and I like the creaminess and the nuttiness of the flavor so I'm going to incorporate a kidney beans okay so you can choose any beans that you prefer so I, I don't know for some reason kidney beans is just really amazing it, it has a, a very nutty flavor so that's what I'm going to put in so but anyway so those are the ingredients that we have and this is very easy so we'll start cooking right guys okay there you go guys so we're going to saute the onion okay just like that okay and then after the onion i'm gonna put in the garlic This is very simple guys and you know I never tried using a cauliflower for uh, the jambalaya but this time I'm gonna try them you know to instead of using the rice I'm going to use the cauliflower a little healthier which is really you know as long as the flavor is there things like that okay so we'll just saute them for 30 seconds. There you go. So the next ingredients that we're going to put in is our baby scallops, just like that. If you notice, guys, I put in a uh, pepper to have flavors, okay? And of course, it also gives colors to our beautiful scallop. Oh, this is, ooh, it smells so good. Just like that. That's beautiful. So I will just leave them for a minute. I just want them to brown a little bit and uh, we'll put in the next ingredients, okay? guys after a minute we have the scallop right here and this is just looks beautiful I like the baby scallop to put in on this uh, dish because it's a bite size you know so what I'm gonna put in next is our tomatoes these tomatoes will give a little tanginess flavor to our dish okay and of course the colors see how beautiful that is guys okay and then we can just simmer them for a minute there you go guys so after a minute we have the scallop tomatoes garlic and onion so what I'm going to put in next is our pepper. Okay. I'm gonna put the green pepper right there. I have the red pepper. And I will recommend guys if you 
put in the pepper it doesn't have to cook more than two or three minutes okay because pepper is very fast to cook so that's what we're gonna do all we have to do is just saute them okay so see how beautiful that is guys this is amazing okay and then the next ingredients that we're going to put in is our beans And this beans right here, it will help also to thicken your sauce, okay? Then you can, you can put, I have like three or four tablespoons of beans right there. All we have to do is so we'll just mix it up. Oh, beautiful guys, look at that. Who doesn't like this perfect combinations of colors guys there you go so we will just simmer them for 30 seconds there you go guys so after 30 seconds we're going to Put our cauliflower now okay so that's just like that so we'll mix it up first see how beautiful that is guys oh wow yum okay just add it up Since the cauliflower guys is shredded very fine, you don't need to overcook them, okay? So all you have to do is just like a couple of minutes and that should be done, okay? Just mix it up. Okay. Just like that. And so now the last, not really the last, the second from the last, which is I still have the chicken right here. I would like to put the chicken at the last of uh, the ingredients, okay? So I have the Creole seasoning right here. I'll just pour it in. Just like that. And it will give a lot of aroma combination right there with the Crayol. Okay, we'll just mix it up. And then we can just simmer them for a minute or two, okay? Okay, so the last ingredients that we're going to put in, guys, is our chicken. If you notice guys, our chicken right here is already pre-cooked. I want ha to have a, uh, a little bit of texture, so that's why I pre-cooked them, just like that. Okay, all we have to do is just mix it up. See how beautiful that is, guys. It smells amazing. And it's really, I mean, this looks pretty good. That. you see it doesn't take that long so that's why I like I like using the cauliflower as a uh, you know supplement for the rice because cauliflower is like I said it just takes a couple of minutes and voila it's cool so I think this is good guys for uh, plating and if you notice right here 
see the beans the texture I have the beans the pepper chicken scallop oh I can't wait to dive in so this is ready for plating guys okay guys so this is our cauliflower jambalaya that we make today and instead of using a um, other seafood so you know what I put in I have a chicken and a scallop so I also incorporate a little bit of texture it depends on your taste so I put in a uh, kidney beans so this is our finished product for today and I hope guys to enjoy my uh, video and please don't forget to subscribe and I am in a uh, YouTube channel and I still have a lot of videos coming up and thank you very much guys for um, keep following my videos and uh, be updated and I hope that you enjoy my recipe for today and once again guys thank you and I'm gonna see you later okay guys thank you bye